everyone. Welcome back to Weenie Trades. In this video, I want to show you the process of getting a funded trader account. One of my accounts today actually became funded, the $50,000 account. So now I'm going to get an account reset and I'm going to be going through a new process. And so that's what I'm going to be going over in this video. It was a really good day trading today. And I just want to give a few futures tips throughout the video. So who is this video for? Well, this video is for anybody who's interested in learning more about futures and wants a few futures tips and tricks. So over here, this is Ninja Trader. This Order comes with the filled. Apex Trader Challenge. And you can see the P&L that shows up when I enter short. So right there, I just sold the bid. I set it to that having a bracket. And over here, you can see the bracket and you can see me just hit the take profit right there. Three, two, one, and almost. Target filled. There we go. And I just want to give a few tips and tricks over here. As you can see, it was a great green day. And I just want to share some of my reasons for profitability. So there are a few key components that really helped me become a profitable futures trader. And actually, once you become a profitable futures trader and you get a funded account, they send you this certificate. Super cool stuff. Yay, certificate. But either way, I just wanted to give a few tips and tricks for trading futures. And specifically to the Apex Challenge, you have to trade on 10 separate trading days and you have to hit your profit goal before hitting your trailing threshold. So hit your profit goal and then not hit your trailing threshold. So you, you can read all about this, but basically a tip for that, getting your 10 trading days is trade small. Trade very, very small for the first 10 days. That's very critical. Trade small. And then you can really crank it once you're on the last few legs of the challenge. Next up though, I would suggest using the micros instead of the E-minis. For example, MNQ is much better to trade than NQ. MES is much better to trade than ES. And the reason I say that is, is because you can do a lot with your positions. It's much easier to scale in and scale out with the micros and be more profitable trading the micros. So only use the micros when using that first 10 days. But if you wanna be more aggressive, then go for it. You can trade Order the filled. E minis, you can trade ES, you can trade NQ, you can trade CL, you can trade whatever you want. I'm just here to help you out. Lastly, I wanna talk about trail stops. A big way to help capture more profits and avoid the Order trailing filled. threshold is using trail stops. And I'd like to manually trail my stops. So right over here, I just entered short on the MES. The stop is starting up there, but I, what I like to do is I actually like to bring it down since we're short right now. And then as SPY sells off, I want to follow it. If it goes up against me, guess what? It's just gonna hit the stop order. So as you can see, look, let's say I really wanted to tr uh, trail it down. Trail it down, trail it down. Let's see if it hits or not. Stop but let's see. And if you trail too closely, your stop will hit, but also you're managing your risk. So that's a cool way of doing things is just trail stop, trail stop, trail stop, trail stop, trail stop. And just remember that these are futures. These aren't options. So options have theta decay. Futures do not. So because of that, you can hold your trades for a lot longer. That's how I was able to hold a bunch of e MES longs on the day because... It's not options. And I can assume that we're gonna see a nice good trending day based off the sellers not able to take the market lower. When sellers are at a pivotal point and they don't defend resistance, there's a breakout that occurs. So understanding context, understanding technicals will really help you throughout your futures journey. And just to recap, hold your trades longer, use trail stops, manual trail stops to help with that trailing threshold. Trade MES, MNQ, MCL, trade the micros, not the E-minis, and then also trade small for the first 10 days and then hit it hard. So now I'm briefly going to go over the process for receiving a PA account. So if you want to follow along, be sure to click the first link think. in the description. Ask me, what did I crank on my biggest trading day trading futures? I was able to crank over $1,800 profit. Now, one of my accounts was a 50K account and it hit its profit goal of $3,000 within a month and now it's at 53,000. So now I'm actually able to get a funded account where I can trade in it and they put up the, up, the capital up front and I'm able to withdraw any of the profits. So if you click on the funded account video, you can see the intro to this video, but also you can click on this link over here and it'll show you the different types of accounts. So. Right over here, I've got a funded 50K account now. 
And if you're asking my opinion, I think the best way to go is the 25K account, mostly because the profit goal is shorter and your trailing threshold is a one-to-one -one with your profit goal. And honestly, most of the time, you don't really need to be trading more than 20 micros unless you're a multi-millionaire. You can do some really good damage trading 20 micros. So really, I think that the bigger accounts really just aren't worth it unless you really just want that extra capital to trade a lot more size. I just don't think it's necessary. Even though the trailing threshold is higher, it really just doesn't make sense. Just trade a little bit more small and I think you'll be more likely to get a funded account. So that's kind of the process that I recommend you go through. But once you get a funded account, they have a lot of instructions and directions to go through. One of which is you basically gotta do the evaluation account all over again, which means earlier on this $50,000 account that's now 53K, it at one point was sitting at 48,000. And if you know, the account starts with 50K and your trailing drawdown is then at 47.50 because you can't lose more than $2,500 from the top. So if you lose more than $2,500 from the top 50K, you, your account becomes failed. However, in this scenario, my account dipped down to 48,000 and I was all, able to take it all the way to 53K. So I was very proud of myself because that was a 5K profit. And so it was really just a grind to get this account going. But nonetheless, we were able to take some really good scalps, draw $1,000, and you can only do it after you've traded 25 trading days, which is quite insane. So basically, they really want you to be trading for quite a while before you can withdraw. But what's cool is that when you withdraw the first $10,000, you get to keep all to yourself. And then after that, I think it's a 90-10 profit split. So every $1,000 you make from there, they just keep $100. So super cool stuff, but you're doing a lot of trading for them. And that's the point I want to make. This is still a very tricky challenge. It still took me a couple of tries. If you guys are following the, the channel, you guys can see my Apex Trader journey over the past few weeks. And you can see it's scattered throughout various YouTube videos and streams. But over here, lots of green days, lots of red days, the lessons I learned in between. So go check that out. But... Trading futures is easier said than done. However, on days like today, it can really pay off. And this is where I'd much rather have a funded account than be doing this with my own capital. So once you get paid, you're paid as an independent contractor. You have to trade for 25 days. And you can only start withdrawing once you get up to that 52500 The first withdrawal can be $1,000. The second withdrawal can be $2,000. And then after that, then you can withdraw as much money as you want, which is why I'd recommend getting the $25,000 account because all that matters is that you hit your profit goal and then you just got to get past the trailing threshold and then start cranking it. Super exciting stuff. I was saying today was likely going to be my biggest trading day trading futures because I had posted that in my latest video. And so the reticular activation system kicked on in. Very exciting stuff. Today was my biggest green day trading futures. I'm ready to break that record tomorrow. Boom. Back to back records. You'd be surprised about the promises that you keep to yourself, how often they may come true. Thanks for tuning in. See you guys. Are you enjoying the heat wave? Peter and Parker sure are. By napping together. Well, I guess they're grooming now. Peter and Parker. Hanging on out. Thanks for tuning in. See ya. Oh. Good boy.